Hey everyone, as we're kicking off our study of Genesis, today we're actually going to look at a different creation account, something called the Enuma Elish. This is an ancient creation account uh, that was written in Babylonian or in Sumerian, and it's written by Israel's neighbors, and at times they're conquerors. So let's see how they understood creation happening. It says, Then Tiamat and Marduk joined battle, the wisest of gods. They strove in single combat, locked in battle. When Tiamat opened her mouth to consume him, he drove in the evil wind before she shut her lips. As the terrible wind filled her belly, her body was distended and her mouth was wide open. He released the arrow, it tore her belly, it cut through her inside, splitting her heart. Having thus subdued her, he extinguished her life. Marduk cast down her carcass to stand upon it. Valiant Marduk strengthened his hold on the vanquished gods and turned back to Tiamat whom he had bound. The Lord trod on the legs of Tiamat, and his unsparing mace crushed her skull. Then the Lord paused to view her dead body, that he might divide the form and do artful works. He split her like shellfish into two parts. Half of her he set up as a covering for heaven. Putting her head in position, he formed the mountains. Opening the deep, which was in flood, he caused the Euphrates and Tigris to flow from her eyes. He formed from her breast the lofty mountains, which he drilled springs for the wells to carry off the water. Then Marduk imparted the plan he had conceived in his heart. I will take blood and fashion bone. I will establish a savage. Man shall be his name. Truly savage man I will create. He shall be charged with the service of the gods, that they might be at ease. Yikes. Now, this creation account probably predates what we have in Genesis. And so I think we should read Genesis as a response to this other view about who the gods are and how the gods created everything. Because if this is what non-Israelites thought about creation, how is the God that we see in Genesis radically different? I think we can actually say that Genesis's view of God is pretty progressive for its time. You know, we have this modern perspective of Old Testament God as being too violent, but if you compare Yahweh, as God's depicted uh, in, in Genesis, Yahweh is a lot less violent than most other gods. Genesis is responding to a violent culture in language that people could understand. And what we see in Genesis 1, we'll look at it more in depth tomorrow, is that Yahweh doesn't need violence to create. God can create just a word and then say that it is good. See, in Genesis, in Scripture, especially as you go further back, God is revealing as much as possible about the divine nature of self-giving love as they could understand. That idea is in its, well, Genesis, here in Genesis. And so, as we said, we want to read it in context, but we also read through the lens of Christ, because we believe that Christ is the true image of who God is, who God is now, who God is in the future, and who God has always been.